This is my Doomsday device. It consists of a number of concentric cardboard discs with numbers printed on the perimeter. The discs can be rotated relative to each other. Turning it over reveals more discs on which are printed numbers, months and days of the week. This device implements John Conway's Doomsday Rule. John Conway is a legendary mathematician who among his very many achievements came up with an algorithm which can be computed using purely mental arithmetic. Not even pencil or paper is needed for determining the day of the week of any given date. I'm not going to describe the algorithm here. There is a very good Wikipedia page that describes it. And there are YouTube videos in which Conway himself clearly explains his own doomsday rule. Go check them out. Instead, I'll show you how to construct your own John Conway doomsday device. A device in both senses of the word. It is a piece of mechanical equipment for achieving the particular purpose of calculating the day of the week by applying the method invented by John Conway. The device consists of seven paper discs which can be printed out on a letter size or A4 sheet of paper. Six of the discs are glued to a cardboard backing. Do not put any glue on the back of disc F. Cut out all seven discs. Cut a round hole in the center of discs A, B, C, F, and G. Cut two short narrow slits on either side of the center circle of discs D and E. Cut the gray slots marked on discs A, B, and D. Roll a short piece of cardboard into a cylinder. This cylinder should be small enough to pass through the central holes you've cut into discs a, B, C, F, and G. Cut four slits in the end of the cylinder, evenly spaced. Bend the tabs you've just created outwards. Leave a pair of tabs which should fit into the slits on disc D. Glue disc D to the cylindrical shaft. Assemble the other discs onto the cylindrical shaft in order. A, B, C, F, and G should be flipped to face the other way. Cut four slits in the other end of the cylindrical shaft, bending the tabs outward, but leaving two to fit into the slits on disc E. Glue disc E to the cylindrical shaft. You may notice that disc F rotates freely with respect to disc C. Line up all the slots of discs A to D with the number 2100. Turn your device over and carefully rotate disc F to align with Sunday without moving any of the other discs. Now glue discs F and C together. Your John Conway Doomsday device is now complete. Here's how to use the Doomsday device to find which day of the week is the 12th of April 2018. Rotate the discs so that the numbers exposed in the three slots will add up to the year 2018. 2000 plus 12 plus 6 equals 2018. There may be other numbers visible in two of the slots, but we can ignore those. Flip over the device. The indicator points to the doomsday for that year, Wednesday. Rotate the month disk so that the indicator points to the sector containing April. Now look for the number 12. Its sector is now aligned with Thursday. Let's do another one. 4th of August, 1997. Rotate the discs so that the slots expose the numbers 1900, 96, and 1, which added together make 1997. Turn over the device. The indicator reveals that the doomsday for that year is Friday. Rotate the months until August appears in the indicated sector. Look for the date 4 it will fall on a Monday. What about leap years? 2104 is 2100 plus 0 plus 4. Doomsday is Friday. Note that there are two sectors in which January appears. Since 2104 is a leap year, use the one highlighted in green. The 16th falls on a Wednesday. Since the Gregorian calendar 
repeats on a 400 year cycle, you can still use the doomsday device for years such as 2388. Simply look up the year 1988. 1900 plus 84 plus 4 equals 1988. Doomsday is Monday. 11th of May is a Wednesday. John Conway famously didn't need any such mechanical or electronic aid to apply his doomsday will. He had a reputation for figuring out the day of the week for any date in his head in under two seconds. Why not challenge yourself to figuring out the day of the week without using your doomsday device? See how fast you can get.